know, Spin Master sort of a, has become a bit of a serial acquirer in the last few years. We, we tend to buy two or three companies a year, and so we've developed some some methodology to how we go about it. And, and generally, I like to bring outside counsel, in this case, Torque and Mains, in as quickly as possible and fall right in the beginning of the due diligence. Um, you know, we're drafting a lot of the, the agreements. Um, we've been working together for years on, on these acquisitions. I'm comfortable with, with the people that I work with there, with Glen Eddy and, and Jeff Cohen. We've never bought a company that's a, really a software company, and so what's the due diligence on software? It's easy for me to do due diligence on another toy company, I know what to look for. Um, but again, we needed to sort of lean on their expertise as to how we might due diligence the software. So, you know, looking at bugs, looking at where it's hosted, looking at, you know, a raft of other, of other types of risk analysis that, that we're just not used to looking at. The other aspect of this deal, too, was the financial due diligence. So we also contracted with KPMG to, to deal with the working capital is always a big part of a shared deal, negotiating the working capital definition and, and, uh, and negotiating what elements go into making it working capital. So we hired KPMG to sort of do a deep dive into the financials and to look at uh, an appropriate working capital number that we would assume on closing. Part of the reason why this deal went so quickly is to have external expertise right off the bat and helping us do all the vetting and negotiation and uh, due diligence that's required. Because by myself or even with my internal legal team is just something we, you know, we can't respond to as quickly as, as external counsel that have multiple people at their disposal.